Yeah, I think I said um, this day last year, um, his influence on the Port Melbourne Footy Club is enormous. Um, couldn't be bigger. I, I don't think we'd be uh, where we are today and you know, preparing for our second um, grand, or third grand final in five years um, without him. Um, his ability to, I guess, uh, not only attract players um, to the club but promote um, the Port Melbourne Football Club and the VFL in general is second to none. And he probably doesn't get enough um, recognition for that promotion he, he puts through to the, the whole competition. So, um, yeah, a lot of people at the huddle um, could have some supporters there. Most of them are drunk or on their way. Um, <laughs> so I just sort of hang out in the back a little bit and try and stay, stay away. But um, it, it's really good environment down there at Port Melbourne where it's a, it's a really congested ground and um, player, supporters can come out in the ground and, and get close to the players and all that sort of stuff. So we enjoy that. Uh, we won't have it this weekend, but, um, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. So but he's been enormous. And some of the young players, uh, Johnny, that have, that have come through this year for Port? Yep, uh, Gary touched on it earlier, you know, losing so many players, but there's been some guys that have uh, spent a few years, you know, in the twos, who have come up, uh, Heath O'Farrell, there's one that comes to mind. Um, Clay Johnson's been another one who's really improved his football and different guys throughout the year, but there's also been, um, you know, some new players to the club, and I think uh, Mitch Wolfenden has been uh, terrific, really talented kid, and, um, I'd be surprised if the AFL recruiters weren't having a look at him. Um, Dan Noonan, as um, Gary mentioned earlier as well, has been great. And then just to get a couple of those guys back that missed uh, significant parts of last year, such as, as Miles Pitt, uh, Adam Bentick, and a couple of guys like that. Um, them coming into the team has really given us um, a big boost. And, um, you know, we're hoping to sort of do what we did again last year, so for those guys that missed out as well. Of course, it's 10 years since that... Uh uh, 2002 grand final between Port and Geelong. And I think that Geelong side uh, produced six, six or five at least champion players. And it looks again, uh, Troy, that the Cats have got some uh, nice youngsters on the way up. Yeah, we've got some fantastic kids. Um, I guess many nine boys, but we uh, we've invested a lot of time into them. Um, Wellesie's done a great job recruiting them to the football club in their first two years. That the improvement we've talked about in the car on the way up, not only over the pre-season, but as the years unfolded this year, they've really, like I guess there's myself and a few other of the VFL listed boys who are there for a bit of guidance, but these guys have really made it their own team and they've they're really built their leadership throughout the year and, and that's just one component to their football journey. But um, look, 10 debutants for the year for the AFL, um, a few of those boys have been able to drift back into our VFL program now and playing on the weekend, but super proud of them. Um, it's a really rewarding job, the job that both Nina and myself get to do in being able to help them make their first few steps in AFL footy and, and we can only hope that they can uh, go on and have half a career that some of the guys did in the 0-2 grand final against Port Melbourne. Seems that